Professor Vladimir Bulovich is an expert in solar energy and nanotechnology at MIT's School of Engineering. He's fanatical about small things, really small things. We're talking quantum scale. This picture is of a soap bubble, and on top of it we rested one of our solar cells to demonstrate exactly how little it weighs. Two and a half micron device, that's just roughly speaking about one fortieth the thickness of your hair. That is as thin as we need to make a structure that at the end will generate the electricity. MIT is a private research university, widely considered to be one of the world's most prestigious. Professor Bulovich and his colleagues are designing extremely lightweight organic photovoltaic cells. But why the focus on the small? Nanostructured solar cells can be made semi-transparent, in which case you might use them as the lenses on your sunglasses. And as a result, generate power next to your ears where you might have a hearing aid that would never need to be recharged again, or maybe a Bluetooth radio, again, that would never need to be recharged again. If you have it on your e-tablet, you'll be able to generate power through a transparent nanostructured cell. In theory, these tiny solar cells could be used not only on portable devices, but rigid structures. Look at the skyline of any modern city, and there are millions of square meters of glass. Go bigger as you develop a technology, and you can now start thinking about using it on the surface of every glass window on a skyscraper. The heat that you capture in form of infrared light you can actually convert into electricity that can power that building. It's likely to take years, perhaps decades, before transparent solar cells are widely available. Grids need to be changed, power storage needs to be reinvented. These are things coming up for us. Yet, it is obvious that as you look into the next decade, a very significant fraction of world's electricity will be provided by solar. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.